girls, welcome back to Waylon Myers Old Iron. You know, I was thinking today about this little YouTube community that we have, this little this little gathering here, it, and this, this population of this little community of ours is about 9,000 more than, than the population of the little town where I grew up. <laughs> well, I didn't grow up in town. I grew up on a, fire, uh, on a farm nine, nine miles outside of town. And the last three miles or so was a uh, dirt road. And, uh, oh, I just loved it. I loved growing up on that farm and everything that goes with it and the hard work and the plowing fields and the making hay and the fishing and hunting and fishing and catching crawdads and camping out. And, oh, it was just, it was all good stuff. So uh, I appreciate this community that uh, we have here. And uh, thank everybody for showing up. Well, got my tractor put back together just in time. Had a big storm hit. Had to clean up about a foot of snow. Snowed about a foot one night. Um, but got back to work on the dirty dozen. Let's take a look. I do believe my pants are on fire. Looks like my chair's on fire. I believe my table's on fire. Oops! <laughs> Hey, welcome to Rat Rod. My name is William Wire, and don't ever do what we do here on this channel. Well, grandson Noah's coming up with his brat. We gotta swap out an axle, so I gotta do the old switcheroo here. Take the tractor out and pull the dirty dozen in on the other side. Uh huh. Let's do this. Let's do this time. axle on his brat and I don't know why I don't know what happened to that boot that's just really strange that it's just looks like it's cut I mean just shredded I, I never seen one do that I don't know what happened to that but 
It was a new axle. We put it in about a year ago. Yeah. Probably. Anyway, he's got a new one. He's going to swap it out. And, um, he's already done one, so he's just doing it, you know. Uh, he knows how to do it. He learns a lot faster than I did. <laughs> he did one, now he can do one a year later. Well, here we are, back in the shop. And uh, I was going to, I was going to try and uh, clean up this other seat, knock the rust off of it. It takes quite a while to do that, clean it up real good, and cut the other seat down. But something else came along, and um, you know I had uh, a couple of people suggest that uh, I put a swivel on that seat and. And that would be a really good idea if it were a good idea, but it just won't work <laughs> because uh, there's just no room for it to swivel. It has to be back at least that far, and uh, maybe a little, even a little further back. Uh, yeah, that's about as far as it goes against the cab there, I guess. But uh, yeah, for me to have enough foot room and uh, get all my clutch and everything there, now I can change the. Uh, that pedal a little bit and I may modify that somewhat whatever I need to do I'll figure that out but when I get both the seats in there there's only about an inch uh, between them so uh, they're they're really wide but that's okay they're comfy but anyway with only an inch between them there's just no way they can swivel so uh, I, that's why I had to that's why I had to cut this down and I'm not even sure I may have to take another inch off of that. I'm not positive yet, but uh, that's a starting point. Well, everything looks to be exactly the same as it was where that last video ended, with the exception of this box right here, which uh, I bet you can guess what that is. So that's my chore for this afternoon. I'm going to put that new radiator in there and uh, put this thing back together. Oh, yeah. Yeah, it's a chore. Uh, I'd rather be working on the Dirty Dozen, but I was, uh, yeah, I was hoping to get that other seat cut down and, and, and I will, maybe, maybe tonight. When I get this thing done, this shouldn't take more than, I don't know, maybe an hour. I'll slap it back together. I'm going to try to bang out some of the dents on this thing, but I'm not going to spend a lot of time with it. Okay, I'm going to uh, probably turn the camera off because I'm going to crank up some tunes and put this tractor back together. And I don't see any reason to film that. Um, if you want to see it go back together, you can just go watch the video where I took it apart and play it backwards. And... Uh, <laughs> That'll pretty much do it. Okay, I'm gonna get busy. Well, y'all not gonna believe this, but old Waylon actually, actually beat the dents out of something and and put a little paint on it. Can you believe that? Can you believe old Waylon actually painted something? Wow, now, I didn't go overboard or anything, you know, just uh, just a little dab here and there. Just like brand new. Okay, I got the old boy put back together. I hammered out some of the dents and straightened some stuff out so the side panels would uh, would fit back on. His front grill was shoved back and it was all crooked and beat up and dented and I straightened that out a little bit and and uh, yeah I got to got so the side panels fit properly and they lock into place with the little lever down there. And, okay I am about to run this thing outside park it in its designated uh, designated spot outside and plug in the uh, plug in somebody was pointing out they want these wasn't on yeah okay anyway um 
park it in its spot plug in the uh, the uh, oil pan heater and the trickle charger and then it'll be ready to go in uh, if I do that it'll start in bitter bitter cold weather and it's been pretty bitter for a couple weeks around here you know in the 20s low 20s yeah you hear the washer going but you haven't heard those overalls in the dryer for a long time I, I did a live uh, stream of the other night of Sunday night and I thought about putting a pair of my overalls in the in the dryer just for old time's sake because there's some people that really 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 hates that <laughs> oh so they don't have to worry about that anymore but um i didn't get rid of those overalls because victor wanted me to save them for him they'll fit him but they won't fit me right josh the next endeavor i believe is going to try and get a try and get a drive shaft cage built for that thing somebody had a wonderful idea and said an air ride seat you know would be great and that would be because you could lower it down get in and then pump it up and sit up at ride height and in the cab and boy that would be nice but well i just can't afford it that's just the bottom line right there so you know we work with what we got You know, when I think about a drive shaft cage, I usually think of something pretty substantial. And like on that Doja Lack, when I built it, I had a big piece of pipe. I think it was six or eight inch pipe. And it was real heavy wall. And I cut about a three inch band off of that pipe. And, I, and then I built this big A-frame to hold it up and weld it up. Oh, I mean, it's solid, going nowhere. And, uh, so I was thinking about this thing and usually if I build a drive shaft cage, well, it's like I said, pretty substantial, but you know, in all reality, this thing, this is not going anywhere. I'm not going to drop that U joint. You know, I'm not going to drop that drive shaft out of this thing. It red lines at 2400. It'll probably, it'll probably never see more than about 50, 55 miles an hour. Uh, it's not like I'm taking it cross country or out on the freeway. So I don't think there's a major concern. I will put a strap over it, you know, but um, I don't think it has to be as beefy as what I normally do. But right now, I've got to get under there and uh, figure out how to uh, uh, level this floor up. And uh, well, I got to jack it up a little bit, level it up and uh, get it uh, get it nice and solid and then uh maybe make uh yeah maybe make some kind of a tunnel um to go over that with a bit of a strap on it i'll probably put a, put a piece of um i don't know two by two by four two by three box across and and uh and build off of that and i can also brace up the floor off of that and uh and build the drive shaft cage off of that as well so that'll give me a starting place and then i gotta put uh gotta build a little floorboard and, and put in this thing so uh, i think i'm gonna work on that hopefully i'll get to that tonight but right now i'm going to do that other seat so i'm gonna crank up the tunes and I've got the grinder out here, and I'm just about to, uh, I'm about to go at it. Where's my safety glasses?
got this seat chopped down and I still need to um, trim this bottom portion off and then go ahead and tack that back in place. And yes, I have tried a snow rake, and uh, it might work a little bit on this very front part of the roof, but on the back side, it's worthless. You just can't wait around in five feet of snow back there and uh, and uh, maneuver around with that snow rake. I tried it. I tried it, guys. I tried different angles on the handle and whatnot. I gave it a good shot, but uh, just didn't uh, didn't work out. Nothing like. Uh, just putting your back into it and using the old shovel. Well, it's 32 degrees outside. Really warmed up today. If I can get my shop to about 50 degrees, man, that's good working weather. Well, let's get under here. We'll make like Johnny Cash and See if we can devise a plan that would be the envy of most any man. Yeah, I think uh, what I need to do is put a little cross member across here. Because to pull that drive shaft, it doesn't need to come straight down. Because if I pull it back here, at this U joint, I can pull it straight back and get it out of any kind of a cage that I might build here. I'm not going to go overboard on that. I talked about that already, but what I do need to do is I probably weld a little cross member in here and then put a strap over that drive shaft and also off of that uh, cross member, then I can start uh, supporting this floor because as you see now it's just uh, it's hanging it's just hanging there it's not very stable and we need to we need to support that and also need to build a, a bit of a floorboard on each side up here cover the battery box battery tray i should say oh i gotta put a little piece of rubber i need to put a rubber grommet Right in there too. I'm aware of that. I think I better do that now so I don't forget it. It's been in my plan all along, but I think now's the time. All right, I'm gonna get busy and see what I come up with, and I'll get back with you before anything gets too serious. Well, one of the very, very first things I need to address is this PTO unit here. Ah. Uh, it's just hanging down here shafts hanging down it's always dragging when i'm backing up i had it kind of hung up there with something but i need to take it off get it out of the way now i'm going to keep this because i can use this for anything i want to i could uh 
I could use it to run a hydraulic pump I could for a dump bed I could use it to run a winch on the back of this thing which is really kind of well that would that would be the ultimate that's what I would really like to do I can go another direction or several directions I could just put a little flat bed on it whatever or no bed at all but Jeff Bradshaw old Jeffrey he's got he's got an old rig down there he's way 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 down there in Oregon long ways from me but he's got a rig that's got uh, uh, an old fashioned winch set up on a tow rig it's a tow rig tow truck and boy it would be uh, that winch and and setup would be perfect for the back of this thing just perfect now there's two issues with that one of them is it's a long ways off and uh, another issue is uh, yeah I could hook up my trailer and go down there and get it I'd have to save up my lunch money first. stuck but we'll see uh, am I perking the weld or am I moving the bolt oh yeah no I'm moving the bolt I may need some more heat to get it out of there I don't know hopefully stuck shoot a little slick and goody in there see what happens And we were victorious. There you go. There you go, fellas. There you go. Now, see if that little puppy wants to come off of there. got a key in it that's what I, I thought it was spline shaft but it looks like a key yeah, that's what it is gently 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 there we go Gently down the stream. Okay, I need to take that out so I don't lose it. I'll tap that out and then I'll put it someplace so I know exactly where it is, and then I'll never see it again. Some people get irritated with me because I don't drop any plans and I don't have anything in the CAD program or anything like that. You know, I just build as I go. I just work it out in my head as I go along, and that's just how I do it. Um, you gotta know when to hold them, know when to fold them, when to walk away, know when to run. So, if I was to put it back here, under there, I could get up pretty close to that floor. And, but I need it back here to mount a hoop. I want to put a hoop around this drive shaft so I might even go as far back as here. 
Yeah, to get around the drive shaft. If I get far enough back to get over this drive shaft, I want to build a little hoop. Just a little hoop. A little loop and a hoop to go over that. That's serious. Just a hoop and a loop. And I still got to put that grommet around that. Rubber grommet around that brake line. If I don't do that right now, I'll probably forget for another six months. But yeah, we'll come back here about so. Boy, that's 30 inches. Real close to 30 inches wide. Got to see what kind of material I have. But if I come back there, I can put a hoop around that. And uh, probably make it so that it uh, will unbolt. Just to make it easier to get the drive shaft out of the hoop. But let's see what kind of material we got to work with. I'll get back with you. Well, that grommet just fit in there very nicely. Got that done. And I found a piece of cross member material here. It's 31 inches and I need 30. So, uh, pretty hard to beat that, but boy, it's awfully heavy duty. But I guess that's okay. So is everything else on this rig. It's way more stuff than I need, but probably so is all this. Who knows? Anyway, I'm going to do it. I'm going to use it. I'm going to cut that off and whack it up, pound it up in there and see, see what I come up with. I can live with that. Oh, radio, radio, right on the money. Four and a half, and four and a half, right on the money. Money, 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 money. Well, originally I was thinking that I wanted a piece of three inch strap to loop over this flat, just flat strap, loop over that and then put some wings on it and bolt it down. I'm kind of low on inventory. I don't have a lot of metal. Um, so I cut out this, I cut out this horseshoe and that would be okay. I gotta trim this floor off a little bit so I can slide this over the center. But, but I'll sit down about there so I could either yeah, long about there. I could either bend it here, bend it back that way, both tabs back that way, and then drill it and bolt down through it. Or I could weld a nut, drill it, weld a nut on the back side, drill it here and put a bolt in there and tighten it down. Like it so I can take it loose that way. If I ever want to Pull the, drive, pull the drive shaft. So after I did all this, how? Huh, wouldn't you know? I found this, which I was what I was looking for all along, what I wanted all along, because I could just heat that up and bend it and wrap it and make, make a loop, and go over that and come down and bend it out on each side about two inches and put a bolt through it another horseshoe shape but this is uh, plenty heavy enough uh, I don't know which one I'll use yet that horseshoe is certainly strong enough the way I've got it made um, I'm gonna sleep on that it's uh, almost midnight and I'm tired so I'm gonna shut it down for the night fail
This was a fail last night. Maybe I'll, maybe I'll try it in the daylight and see if it works any better. And yes, before somebody tells me this, because I get told this all the time, that roof will hold a foot of snow. It's no big deal. Well, yeah, but you know, when you got two or three more feet coming, you can't just wait and see how much it'll actually hold before it collapses. So, I have a 16-year-old grandson who is ready and willing to shovel the roof for me if it comes to that. When he comes up here, the first thing he always says is, you need some help, and I'm pretty grateful for that. That's a good, that's a pretty good thing to hear from a 16-year-old. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Not too bad. There we go. There we go. I like it. Well, you ain't fellers. We're close, ain't it? Not too shabby. Well, I measured the depth that I need. For this to be tall enough to get over that drive shaft and it's seven inches and then it, it needs to be seven inches wide. Check it out. I was just, I was just guessing. <laughs> What's that old saying? I'd rather be lucky than good. I sure got lucky there. Well, I'm just gonna I'm just gonna eyeball that. I think that's uh, good enough. As I used to say before Vice Grip Garage was ever born, good enough for the girls we go out with. Yeah.
Okay. Good. Well, I'll get this thing up in the air now and get under there and center this just exactly, just exactly, just ever so. And uh, then clamp it down and drill it and bolt it. Um, you know, actually, I think I could weld it because um, I've got room to take these bolts out, the U-joint. And uh, yeah, even that one. If I'm only going to take out these, I'd have to take out these. And that's easy to get to. So this doesn't ever have to come out because I can take these bolts out, pop the drive shaft out and go that way with it. And, uh, yeah, I mean, I'm just going to tack it until I test that theory, but I don't see anything wrong with that. I mean, this whole thing just drops out, so it'll just drop down and slide out the back. And uh, I think next I will make a tunnel to fit over that. Roll it around and set it set it up in there, and uh, put some tabs on the back so I can bolt it down, and and maybe put a couple of drill and tap this. Maybe I don't know. That's pretty close, but no, I've got plenty of room in there. If I stay away from this U joint and get back here, then there's plenty of room, plenty of room in here for me to put a uh, a nut on a bolt. Or uh, actually, I'll just tap it. I'll drill it and tap it, and then put a couple of screws in my tunnel, and that'll hold that down. And uh, that that'll be good. Yes, sir. 
I'll have to trim all this off. I gotta weld this up if I'm gonna use this to mount my seat on, and I think I will. Um, but and then I will enclose this, if you guys can see. I will enclose this so that'll make a nice little box underneath the seat to keep my uh <laughs> keep my fire extinguishers in. Yeah, so I'll do that on each side. Have a nice little little box there and uh i think i'll get to see if i roll a piece of a piece of uh, metal for this tunnel well first i'm gonna i'm gonna tack this down and roll a piece for that get that set in there and then i can start uh, start working on my my floor area up here yeah moving along slow and steady well slow Anyway, uh, okay, let's get this thing up in the air and get underneath it. Yeah, just a little tack. You know what guys, if you don't have a tool, build it. If you need a jig, build it. So much fun. So much more fun than to go out and try and buy something. Just build it. leaned up beside the greenhouse so all the snow off the roof came down I had to dig that out of, out from under about four feet of snow well yeah it was buried up it was leaning up standing on the side like this and the snow was up above it so that was a lot of fun oh man it's cold out there oh. Well, guys, I think that's where I'm going to leave this one. I'm going to leave that in here and let it thaw out. As uh, Brent would say, let it unthaw. <laughs> no, I'm going to let it, I'm not going to let it unthaw. That would be freezing it. I'm going to let it thaw out. So, uh, yeah, I'm going to, I don't want to work with that old cold stuff. I'm already froze. So, let that warm up and... And I'll uh, I'll end this video here. But next time we'll get that with that tunnel molded up. I'll I'll roll that up in the little cheap old Harbor Freight combination shear brake roller. And uh, yeah, get that rolled up and set in there in place. And get some uh, get some seat mounts made. And and hopefully get to hopefully get the seats mounted up in the next. Uh, Next video, uh, I've got to change the configuration a little bit on these pedals. I need this to, to tilt down a little bit so you're not picking your foot up so high. Once the seat's sitting up higher though, where it's gonna where it's gonna live permanently, this is a whole lot better. But I'm still gonna angle it down a little bit. Just uh just make it a little easier and I'll match it up with this one. I've got the other pedal, little bracket that's cut off about here, and I'll I'll match these guys up and, and get that all in place. And uh, yeah, get the seats mounted. Hopefully that'll be the the next video and start to, I think the next step is probably start working on a fuel system. Cause uh, you can't get very far with that right there. I can get to the mailbox and back on that. Just a uh, little, little less than a mile. Yeah, to a gallon. All right, that's it. 
Okay, guys, that'll do it for this time. I thank you everybody for showing up, and thank you for all the uh, the comments. And uh, well, you know, bottom line is, I just appreciate you. We'll see you next time. Thank you.